Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again with another YouTube video. Uh, today, what I got going on for you, I'm gonna try to keep this uh, simple and fast. I got the Cricut Hat Press, and I'm going to give you the unbiased, unpaid for opinion on this thing. As you see, I got this from Target.com, Tars J. Um, cutting some t shirts in the background. That's why all that noise is coming from. But uh, yeah, we're just doing this live unboxing. Let's see. Live on box. I should have went live. Look at my dog right there. Scratching herself, looking crazy. All right, so boom, there we go. All right, so we got inside the package. This is what you're gonna get once you order this cricket thing. I'm a little skeptical because, you know, cricket, uh, you know, cricket, not a good history. I just feel like it's almost like a not like name brand it's like you just buying something name brand i'm very skeptical about this because i've seen other videos and they say you have to connect the bluetooth so it's already red flags but the reason why i bought it is because of the um you know what i'm saying the um damn hold on i'm trying to get this thing open the damn way you press the hat on there for real for real i just like the way that how that look like pretty much um the little bean bag looking thing it seems like you're not constricted to just the form not the form so that's the main reason why i got it and um i keep hearing people say it's filled with nuts so if you got like a nut allergy you know don't use it but i don't have any nut allergies so i'm good to go very swanky looking you know i'm definitely going to return if i don't like it um, but I'm going to stay optimistic. I'm going to definitely stay optimistic. Um, all right, so this is the machine. Okay, let's see how much space is on here. Okay, yeah, that's big enough for a hat. Big enough for a hat. All right, cool. And this form looks nice. Yeah, let's see, let's see. And I was also thinking about pressing, like, my neck tags on it. Hopefully it gets hot enough. We shall see, we shall see. But one thing that I don't like about it is that everything connects via Bluetooth, it seems like. But um, I got a sample head. I'm gonna cut right back to it once I get everything set up. All right. All right, so back to the second part of the, um, the video. So basically with this heat, heat press machine, I'm trying to, hopefully I can show you this, um, this mess in like with one hand. I'm only working with one hand. Basically, they want you to sign up with Cricket. They want you to sign up with Cricket. So you gotta download a freaking app. You can't just plug it up and heat your stuff up, which is pretty stupid. Um, hopefully this is not the future of machines. It's really stupid because a lot of people just wanna plug it up and get the pressing. You know what I'm saying? They wanna they wanna press. But I have the um all right, so boop 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 boop. So it's all plugged up. You download the app. All right. There we go. Let's see. Start new project. Let's see. What's up? All right, now it's saying disconnect. This is so stupid. Okay, so now it's on. Instead of just flipping the switch like the old machines, you gotta get it all like fucking Bluetooth transfer material. Oh my God, I don't know. Just just vinyl, like, Jesus Christ. I don't know, man, what the fuck? This is stupid, y'all. All right, anyway, quick iron tutorial. Then you watch this video. I'm gonna put my graphic down. Like, with all of this, I could have just bought the simple Amazon heat press and just like been heated this up and that's it. But if this doesn't work, I am going to return this mess because this is stupid. Okay, so it brings you a 300 degrees. Nah, man, what the world? Press for 60 seconds? This is too much. Okay, so it sent the settings. I sent the settings to the head press. Preheat the blank. 
Okay. And mind you, everything is connected via Bluetooth. All right, so we're gonna do this. Straight up on it. Play, get a play button. Okay. <coughs> Position the heat press, then press the play button. Okay. Light pressure for 60 seconds. I'm pretty sure that the manual press is way less than 60 seconds and the temperature heats up and you can just keep, you know what I'm saying, keep going with it. I don't know what this is intended for, but I'm going to definitely try it out. Um, give you guys an honest review. I, I don't get why they're making every this stuff Bluetooth, but hopefully it works. Uh, this is definitely not a production machine. Okay. Not a production machine. But we're going to see. As y'all are seeing, this is a honest review. Y'all are looking at it live. One second. All right. All right. So now I'm going to put it back to where I got it from. All right. We're going to put it back here. Let me see if it gets hot. Mm. Yeah, it gets hot. It gets hot really fast. So apparently this is supposed to be on there. I can see. Hmm, I can see that it's on there. Mind you, I did do this with one hand. So we gonna see, bro. Hmm. It came out pretty good. And we're gonna lie to you. This thing came out all right. It's a cold pill. Let's see. Uh, I don't know what this graphic is. <laughs> I kind of messed up on a t-shirt that I made. So this is just random. So. Alright, so. <laughs> Alright, so this is a trucker hat. This is a little trucker hat. So the front is like mesh. But what we're going to do. We're going to give it the rigor remote. The rigor, rigor, rigor remote. I'm scratching it. Alright. It's surviving. You know what I'm saying? People don't usually don't scratch their heads up like this. But we're just going to scratch it up right quick. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting my fingernails in it. As y'all see, my ashiness is in it too. Hopefully y'all can hear that. Okay, Cricket, y'all might get something. Okay, I might not return this joke. Might not return this joke. All right, cricket. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's see. Let's make it rougher. We're going to stretch it out. We're going to stretch it out. And dig up in that joke. All right, get rough with it. Get rough with it. Okay, it survived. It survived. Like, this joint... It's killing. It's killing it. Okay, Cricket. I might don't have to return it, you know. Might don't have to return it, you know. But at the same time, it's kind of like... It's kind of like... Do I need it? No. That's the question. Do I need it? Is it practical? Um, it's not really practical. I ain't gonna lie to you. But the results are good. If this is more or less for like, ah, my God, what is this for? I don't understand why they did not just have like a, a temperature gauge and you can just plug it up as you want to um, and make hats whenever. Because this, this is a great concept here. This is a great concept. Like you can make any size hat. You can place it anywhere. This is a great concept, Cricket. Um, this has lots of 
lots of um, capability. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> I guess I got to deal with it. Um, I would rate this. I give this a six out of ten. Six out of ten for real, for real. The reason why it's a six, I'm definitely keeping it in the lineup. Definitely keeping it in the lineup. Um, six out of ten because I just want something not not connected to the internet. You know what I'm saying? Because what if I'm on the go and I'm not near the internet? I want to make some hats on the go. But you know, this is we live in an internet society. This is the future. Cricket, honest review. Good job. It's it's okay. I mess with it. Thumbs up. Six out of ten. Subscribe to your boy. Shadow, go get a taste. Peace.